Good morning to all you good looking people out there. Hope you're having a good morning. <laughs> I'm standing up this morning instead of sitting down because it must have rained last night. There's water all over everything. Plus when I sit down, the dogs all get in my space. And you know, I was thinking about that last night. It's like, if I know somebody and I like them, my bubble like gets smaller. Like I don't need as much private space. But if I don't know you, and of course if I know you and I don't like you, my bubble gets bigger and my space gets expands. <laughs> Not too long ago, we was at, I think it was Menards, we was getting ready to pay. And this guy, I mean, our stuff was still on the belt. This guy was standing so close to me, I was just about to turn around and say, dude, if you don't back up, I'm gonna end up with child. You're way too close. <laughs> It was almost like we were together. It's almost like, will you guys have a good day? I'm not with him. <laughs> I'm with my girlfriend. <laughs> when um, Radio Shack was going out of business up north here, we went to Radio Shack, and, and uh, we, Cindy and I was looking at this one wall. I mean, I'm looking at this wall of stuff. I look over to say something to Cindy. When I look over, this guy, his, he was like right here. So I huffed and puffed and gave him a disgusting look like, like, get out of my area. So then I was like, hey honey, look at these over here. So I go on the other side of him, like to get away, I look over and I'm like, I told her, I said, he needs to get out of my asshole. I'm wanting to shop and I can't shop when he's on my shoulder. I mean, he was following me around like a bad head cold. It's like, my God, dude, there's a whole store. It's all on sale. Pick a different spot. <laughs> and then you have those people, uh, there's a couple that I work with, but there's one that when I see him coming, I don't care if he's from here to Menards. <laughs> as soon as I see him, I start rolling my eyes. He's already he's already in my space. As soon as I see him, I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible. I know that makes me sound like a terrible person. I'm really not. I mean, I don't really have that big a bubble, but just... <laughs> and there, there's a couple guys that, that I work with. I've worked with, um, I don't think they're there anymore. This one guy, when he talks to you, he gets like, he gets about six inches from your face and he's rather unappealing. And he'll be talking to you and I remember one time he talking, got excited, salivating, and he like got, and he accidentally like spit like on my lip. And the whole time he's talking to me, I'm like, don't lick your lip, don't lick. So the rest of the time he's talking to me, I got my lip out like, yeah, yeah, because I'm afraid I'm going to lick it. I don't want to, it's, then it's like, you know, like acid's going to eat my face off. And he spit on it, but it's my lip, and I should be able to lick it if I want to. But now he kind of is in my bubble, and he's spitting in my bubble, and pissing me off. <laughs> I kind of get protective like that when I'm in my vehicle, too. It's like, if I'm in a Jeep, and somebody's following me, and they're so close, I don't see their headlights. And I can tell if they've got bifocals or trifocals or they got broccoli in their teeth, they need to back the hell up. <laughs> There's a big road. But anyway, I'm not that picky about everybody. Like I said, I don't have, you know, I don't usually have that big a space and I'm a hugger. <laughs> and that's always kind of funny too because I hug people and some people's not a hugger and I go to hug them and they're like, uh. <laughs> they're like, uh. they turn their head. <laughs> it's like trying to trying to hug a two to four. They're all stiff like, oh God, I hope this doesn't last long. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you go for now. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. We get haircuts today. See this hair right here? It's on my ears, getting long, getting shaggy. Look like a big Q-tip. And with any luck at all today, whoever you want in your bubble will get in your bubble and whoever you don't will stay the hell away. <laughs> We'll talk tomorrow. I love you guys. You have a good rest of the day and and uh, behave yourself. Don't pop nobody's bubble. <laughs>